I'm just trying to stay positive, try to try to make sure that I'm always speaking positive to the youth and making sure they understand that they can become who they need to become too. There's a whole lot of stuff going out there. Instagram is killing people. You know what I mean? People going broke for Instagram. People are is morally screwed up behind Instagram. People, I'm letting y'all know that that's just entertainment. That's, that's the damn, that's your phone. That shit ain't reality. It ain't real. You know, and uh, don't let it, don't let it consume you. And that's some of the best advice that you could give young people. And that what you just said is going to be uh, weighted very heavily for the people that's listening. And if you're not, op- if you got to rewind it, you better do that. Because that was straight game, 1,000. Instagram is is, uh, is is really, it's for fun. But people are taking it too per- uh, personal. You know, people killing each other and doing all kind of stuff live and all that. Over social media. Over some shit that. Yeah, because I could speak for that because I grew up at a time where we didn't have no damn social media. I tell my kids that all the time. Like, you know, I, I, you know, in order to meet somebody, you would have to literally meet them. Now, somebody, you know, the, the platform itself is giving everybody a platform to have a voice. So you have to be careful, have thick skin, and, you know, we're moving. Look at what it is. It's a funk ass post that you post. <laughs> it ain't your life. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let Mike get back to handling this business, man. We so much truly appreciate and honor to have you. Man, I appreciate you, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Sacktown. Shout out to my man, Sebo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ballhead nut. I got much love for Sack.